Hello everyone, again this is Jian Peng. In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to perform Lab 3, Newton's Second Law. And again, open the lab instruction and you see the link right here. To go to the link, again, press the control key of your keyboard and left click your mouse. Then you should see the web page for the forces in one dimension simulation. Click on Run Now. The Java package starts up and then the uh, simulation itself starts up. Um, again, on this screen you can see there's the applied force here and you can there's an object right here. The object you can select are listed here. You have a file cabinet, a refrigerator, textbook, and so on. And you also have the option to turn on or off the friction. Now let's have the friction on. And on here, it's good. you can graph all the graphs. You can do it. And one thing you need to remember is before you start doing any simulation, always click the clear button. So that clears everything and it will start record, uh, record all the events. So press the clear button. Sure, we are ready to clear the graphs. Now we are ready to get started. So apply a force. The blue arrow is your applied force and the red arrow is your friction force. Now the file cabinet starts moving. At about that position, I let the force go and eventually the friction force stops the file cabinet. So let's pause it. Okay, so you can <coughs> After you have recorded, you can uh, rewind and replay again. Click playback. It shows the procedure again. And you can, based on what you have learned uh, first, based on what you have learned, uh, consider how the graph should look like, look like, and then you can actually check it. See, I want to see the applied, applied force. So applied force, sure, first, I apply a small force until a certain time I apply a force that's big enough to overcome the friction force then there's the net force right here. So my net force in this period is constant. Then I let my applied force go. I stopped applying the applied force. Then at that time there's only friction force. So the net force is only the friction force which stops the file cabinet. So you can sh show the force in this graph. And the same story, you can graph the acceleration. I'm not going to explain the details. You should be able to, based on what you have learned, and figure out uh, what this graph means. And again, you can graph the velocity, and again, the position. OK, and you can also do the same thing without applying the friction force. So click the off. And if you, again, let's rewind, clear everything, yes, and choose, say, I'm choosing a refrigerator this time, and if I apply a force because there's no friction, then the total force or the net force is only going my applied force. So as you can see, when my, uh, my applied force there, the object starts moving, and when I I let it go, still keeps moving. Okay, that's all for lab three. Let me know if you have any question. Thanks. Bye.